the cool TikTok was usually used to make videos and you'd probably meet a lot of TikTokers in there. This code would be used regularly and sometimes even filled to the max 10 people. But after a while, people have just started using it less and less and now you can't even find anyone in the code. The code is completely dead. The last time I saw someone in the code was like four months ago. The reason this code died was because eventually people just forgot about the code and when someone would join it would be empty and they would leave so we would never have the chance to fill up with people. The biggest problem is that because of all these reasons people don't go around saying the code so people just don't go in the code because they don't know about it and the code just dies out. Before I talk about the code end is near, I want to talk about the code end is here because that is actually the original code. There was a video on TikTok that blew up about this ghost called End Is Here standing in the mirror. People wanted to find this ghost for themselves, so they went in the code End Is Here. End This Here will almost always be full and packed with people. There would never be a time where this code would be at zero players. So what people decided to do was make another one, End Is Near. End Is Near will be the exact same code, but with not as much people and less demand to get into it. So people would instead join this code instead of End here code would be at 10 players at least one point of the day but at least it wasn't always full unlike end is here so after a while obviously the ghost died out and this means the codes would die out as well but end is here didn't actually die out sure it would be at zero at some point of the day and the max players would be like six but it was not dead people would go into the code daily unlike code end is near people would never go into this code because people just forgot about this code so the code died The code mini99 would be an alternative code to the code n-word. So just like in the code n-word, people would just come in here to be racist and shout racial slurs. I mean, people still do that, but in public lobbies, like I could go in at any time today and I'd probably hear at least one person shout the n-word. But mini99 was on another level. The second you would join, you'd hear a little kid shouting the n-word at the top of his lungs. And after many weeks of this code just being a thing where people would just join and say the n-word, Lemmy decided he had enough and just completely completely banned the code. So if you just decided to go into this code today, you would get banned from Gorilla Tag for an hour. And because of this, you can't play the code, so it's dead. Like, it probably wouldn't be dead if it wasn't banned, but you can't play it, like, it's dead. No one can ever go into that code ever again. Code 3 or TR33 is well known from a video by Rough GT about him finding the ghost Banshee. In the video, he walks around looking for Banshee and then he sees a white monkey standing in a treehouse. He looks at it in the eyes and he gets his IP leaked and location. This video will get thousands of views and get well over 20k views. So people decided to go find Banshee themselves in the same code. After this video, this code would be active with up to 6 to 10 people active daily. It was still active before this but not as much people would go in it and yeah this code would probably be used mostly just to find banshee banshee is still an extremely popular ghost today and all of banshee codes are still full for some reason this code just died like any other code you'll probably find no one in the code except yourself the reason this code died is probably because it wasn't that well known and there were so many other popular banshee codes like banshee literally the, the name of the ghost that there would be no reason to come into this code because it would be so empty and no one even knew about this code anyway so people just stop going to it. The reason I'm talking about code 77 because it's very similar to code TR33. Actually, it's almost exactly the same. Code 777 came from a popular video that blew up. Except this time it like it got really popular. It got over 200,000 views. And unlike the other code, this code didn't die fast. This code took a while to die because of how popular the video got. The video was made by AceVR talking about how he encountered Banshee. So after the video blew up, people started going into code 77 more often. There would be around 6 to 10 people in there daily trying to find the ghost Banshee. But after a very long time, less and less people would appear in the code. And since there wasn't enough people in the code, people would just leave. And not enough people were talking about the code, so it also became unknown. But people would join this, but there wasn't enough people joining at the same time. So when someone would join, they would see that they're alone and they would leave. And they would stay like that. One person would join, and then they would leave again. And then another one joined, and they'd leave again. It was a cycle, so now it's just completely dead. No one goes in the code anymore. 
more 666 was another ghost code, but this one was different. This code is another alternative to the code Morse. The reason this code exists is to find the ghost Morse. He would usually appear in codes Morse 666, the one I'm talking about now, and Morse. Today, Morse 666 is completely dead, but Morse isn't. Morse is really hard to get into, and that's why this code would be made. This code was made so people can actually find the ghost without having to look through lobbies that weren't full. But this code would just suffer the same problem. After a while, people not getting into the other code, people just decided to move into this code. And there were a lot more than 10 people trying to get into the code more. So this code would always be full as well. But after a while, this code would die. I couldn't actually find a reason why. But what I think happened is people would just go into this code and there would only be one person in the code themselves. And the problem with that is everyone would join at different times. Today, there's still a possibility that you might find like one person in the code. They've probably been alone in there and waiting for someone to join for like hours. You either have to wait or just time it perfectly to find another person in the code. This code is probably really unknown and that's why the reason it is dead. But you probably recognize the name, Sren. Sren is a very popular code to find Gorilla Tag Ghosts. There have been hundreds of Gorilla Tag Ghosts found in these codes, such as Daisy 09, PVV and many more. But the three main ones are Sren 17, Sren 18 and Sren 16. These codes are almost never full, like I don't know why, probably because there's three of them. But on very rare occasions, especially when a lot of people are online, all three codes are full. So the best way is just to make up your own random code, Shren15. Like I've been in this code and there would be like one guy sitting there alone waiting for a ghost to join. Like I've been in this code and there would be like just one fucking idiot sitting there waiting for a ghost to join. But the reason this code is dead is because it's just unknown. There probably are occasions where like six people would join because every other code is full. But nowadays that gorilla tag ghosts have died down, this code is completely dead. Well, that's the end of the video. I try and post every week, and that last week I was late, so I tried to upload this video early. And I'm going on holiday in the next like three hours, so I'm speed running this video.